Hello, Verbling.com members. Who's ready to work on their English? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm here to help you improve your English. My name is Jeff Watson. Originally, I come from Vancouver, Canada. But right now, I'm talking to you from Santiago, Chile, in South America. And so, welcome to another English class brought to you by Verbling.com. Because Verbling.com is where you can connect and improve your English with an English teacher instantly. Sound like advertisement. <laughs> Very good advertisement. Absolutely. Well, we're here. And so let's connect and let's get going on our English. Uh, good morning from uh, South America. Uh, today we are going to be reading uh, about an international organization that is uh, widely known around the world. It's called Greenpeace. And so what I would like to do is to ask everyone right now to please go to the verbling.com website go to the live classes page and find the information about this class and these this is the uh, GW 47 document so this is the document that we are going to be reading and talking about this hour so again please find this document, file GW47, at the verbling.com website. All right, so welcome everybody. Uh, what I would like to do is to give each person an opportunity to say hello and to introduce themselves. And now Greenpeace is all about protecting the environment, protecting environmental issues. And so if, if each person please could share one of the environmental issues that is most important in your country that most of the people in your country are thinking about or concerned about and maybe one of the environmental issues that you personally are concerned about okay and so uh, I would like to say hello to uh, Elaine are you there Alain? Yes. Welcome. Um, so your your connection yeah, seems hi. to be ah good. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, so please introduce yourself. Where are you calling from, and, and what do you do? So uh, I, it seems as though your connection is, is uh, very poor this morning. See if you can try and uh, improve that. Uh, Igor, are you there? Yes, hi. How are you? Excellent. Fine, thank you. Um, I'm Igor. I'm from uh, Republic of Moldova. And... Um, uh, a problem um, with um, with environment, uh, I think that is uh, deforestation. Mm. When people cut uh, trees, and uh, it's a big problem. Yes, logging. Sorry. Uh, the, uh, sorry. Uh, I'll put the uh, verb or the name of the activity in the chat box. It's called logging. The logging or forestry industry. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, yeah. So logging means to cut down the trees. Yes. And uh, another problem is uh, pollution of uh, air with uh, gases from okay. cars, from uh, factories that uh, work uh, and produce something. Pollution, uh, uh, water pollution with uh, plastic materials like ah, uh, bottles. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, pollution, 
Well, no, but first of all, the, the air pollution, meaning there's bad air quality, it, it's difficult to breathe? Or are you talking about carbon dioxide and, uh, and climate change? I, I, um, yes, carbon dioxide, but uh, I talk in general, not in my country. Here is oh, okay. uh, much uh, small with um, uh, influences. We do not have uh, so much pollution uh, or so so big um, deforestation. Uh, here maybe is pollution with uh, plastic, with uh, garbage. We have uh, this in uh, nature. Okay. But, uh, we say I, I, uh, I told in general about. Uh, okay. I said right. in general. Problem. Yeah. No. Excellent. Good. And uh, another word is just the idea of litter, and so this is the kind of garbage that's in the streets, that's uh, on people's property, and it it looks ugly. Uh, I'm not sure that litter is necessarily a serious environmental problem. But many, uh, many cities are dirty with litter that has been left all over the place. Y yes, all here right. we have uh, this uh, moment. Yeah, great. Thank you. And uh, Inga, hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Inga. I'm from Armenia. And uh, I want to mention about the um, factories, uh, which is situated not far from the cities. And uh, they uh, they act bad to the nature and to people. Kareem, we can ask you to keep your microphone muted for us, please. <laughs> That took a while to mute. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, uh, Inga. You're saying that the factories are located close to the city? Yes, and uh, it's um, it's very bad for the men, uh, for the people's health, and for nature also. And uh, but, and how is it? Is it air pollution or uh, contamination of the soil? Uh, is it uh, water pollution? No air. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, some toxic, uh, toxic uh, substances. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. which is um, which has uh, gases and um, do bad. Yeah. So um, that okay. kind of problems. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's worrisome. Okay. No, but thank you for sharing that with us. So I put our factories are located near the cities. That's uh, a problem. Yes. Uh, is Ismail, hello, how are you? Fine, Jeff, thank you. It is nice to see you again. <laughs> hello, everybody. I am Ismail from Turkey, Ankara. Uh, before the class, I uh, searched on the uh, internet about uh, Tur uh, Greenpeace Turkey, Jeff, and okay. I read some uh, news. Uh, what is going on Turkey? They are uh, there is a, a Mediterranean seal species uh, in the uh, south uh, coast of Turkey. They are going to extinct uh, because of the uh, construction of some roads in the seaside. Okay, especially yes. uh, uh, in the uh, North of Turkey, and uh, the what? What kind of animal is it? Uh, a, a fish? It's a it's a seal species, uh, species oh. but it's uh, they uh, they are living uh, in the Mediterranean, and uh, it's uh, called as a Mediterranean seal. Okay, uh, it's a uh, different from the uh, normal seal. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there are uh, too many uh, summer house construction in the seaside and they are going to eat the fish from the net of the fisher and some fisher are going to kill them right. and 
uh, they couldn't find a virgin shore to leave uh, natural natural have, shoreline yes they yeah. are going to es extinct okay no that they're yeah they're going to uh, what do we say they're going to become extinct they're going to become yes. extinct okay well good luck yes. with solving that issue in the conflict between people and animals uh, I'd like to say hello to uh, uh, Janio or, or Janu, Janio. How do you pronounce your name? Janio. Now we we can't hear you, so you need to turn on your microphone. Look on the Google Hangout screen, and you should see a picture of a of a microphone. Hello. Yes. So uh, I, I was saying that in Brazil we can pronounce Janio. Janio, okay. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm here to learn about the environment a little. And in Brazil, there's many industries that can pollution the air. Mm. Okay. And and uh, do you live near these industrial areas? No, much more, but. Near the, the near my house, there's a, li a lot of a lot of them. Oh, okay, right. And of course, Brazil is, is famous internationally for the Amazon forest, which is maybe yeah, the most famous natural area in the world. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Oh, thank you. Welcome. And uh, Ma Marek, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, do you hear me? Yes, we hear you perfectly. Go ahead. Marek? Hello. We hear you. Okay, now we don't know. Sorry. So we, we cannot hear you, Marek. So I'm I'm going to go ahead to Marie. Marie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm Marie from France. And water pollution uh, is a serious problem in France. In France. Mm. Yeah. France. Mm -hmm. Water pollution? Yes, because uh, the agriculture mm. is using many, um, I don't know, oh. chemical. Uh, chemicals yes mm -hmm. and it's uh, pouring water uh, and and so uh, is that near where you live no it's not near where I live but sometimes they talk about it okay no yeah. and, and and so this this is the uh, freshwater rivers etc or uh, are you talking about the ocean uh, the ocean, yeah, the ocean. Okay, all right. No, thank you, thank you, Marie. Welcome. Yeah. And uh, uh, Stas, are you there? Yes, yes. Hello. Please introduce yourself. Uh, sorry. What do you mean? Yes, yes. What is what is your name? Uh, where where are you calling from? Okay. And okay. What do you do? What's what's your job? Uh. Uh, my name is Stas. I'm from uh, Kazakhstan. I am a student. I uh, study in a uh, college. Uh, I uh, not have a job. Okay. You're you're not working. You're a student. Okay. And what do you think of the environmental issues in uh, your country? Uh, in my in my country, uh, have uh, uh, big uh, problems and uh, and uh, uh, with environment and uh, uh, pollution uh, river and uh, pollution air uh, from a factory and uh, a cars cars. Mm. And uh, 
No, but uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, great. Thank you. Okay, good. And and so uh, uh, that was perfect. And and I'm just going to try and say hello to Alain. Are you there? Yes, I'm back. I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. Welcome. Cool, Please thank introduce you. yourself. Okay, so I'm Alain from Paris uh, as well. I heard that Marie is from France as well, so mm -hmm. good. Um, so I think that something that uh, people care about is uh, organic food. Mm, um, okay. So yeah, it's quite interesting because um, there is a lot of uh, uh, big restaurant and uh, big uh, grocery stores who start selling organic food, and um, it's starting to be everywhere. So yeah. Okay, and do you buy organic food? Uh, I'd like to, but it's too expensive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel the same way, um, and and, uh, and these are locally grown products as well. Um, I think it depends, um, but um, France is uh, is a um, uh, product production country, so uh, yeah. I think a food that producing most of the country food producing country. So mm -hmm. I think that um, most of the food that we can find, even in organic food, is something that you can buy from France. So yeah. Okay, no, that solves a lot of problems. If you're buying local, uh, if you're buying local organic produce, which in, in English produce is both fruits and vegetables, you okay. solve so many problems. All the problems with the pesticides or the artificial fertilizers, and you also solve the problem of having to uh, burn huge amounts of energy to transport food. Uh, that's, oh yeah, yeah that's and it makes it much more expensive as well. Yeah, right, right. Excellent. And Hami, you're here. Yes, I am here. How are you, Jeff? Everything's good. Okay, I am Hamid uh, from Turkey, uh, and also I am a chemist. So mm -hmm. this topic is very uh, much related to me. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of these toxins or chemicals that we should be worried about? For example, uh, greenhouse effects, greenhouse mm. gases, uh, and uh, acid rain uh, sources of gases, and these are uh, superoxide, uh, nitrogen oxide, uh, and carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, etc. Yeah. Okay. And also, I want to mention uh, my master's topic is uh, about the energy storage. Uh, it's a, it's about what? Sorry, your energy master's storage. Thesis? Energy energy storage. Oh, oh great. Okay. With, and, with uh, batteries. Yes, it looks like mm -hmm. batteries. Uh, super mm -hmm. capacitor. Did you hear it? I've heard of them, yes, and this is a huge problem that we need to solve. Yes, uh, and also uh, I wrote first thesis in my country about the supercapacitor. Okay, all right, excellent. So glad to have you here. Uh, and uh, so we, I'm just going to put the name of the file again, uh, file GW47. Uh, some information that I have uh, taken from the internet. Ta I've taken it from the uh, Greenpeace website. Now, the Greenpeace organization, uh, some of the people involved in creating the organization are from uh, Canada and specifically from the Vancouver area. I am Canadian and, and so this is a, uh, a picture of a beautiful place and in my home so if any of you ever travel to British Columbia, Canada, the Pacific coast of Canada, make sure to visit some of these amazing coastal forests that we have. Uh, the, uh, the, the problem is that many of these areas have been logged. They have been completely uh, destroyed uh, biologically in comparison to what they were before. These forests, uh, people say, are 10,000 years old that have grown from, uh, that started growing after the last ice age 
And so, unfortunately, beautiful places like this, uh, very, uh, very small amounts of them still remain. And Greenpeace was involved uh, in trying to protect this area, which is called Clackwet Sound. Clackwet is a, uh, an indigenous name, a native name. Here's a picture of some of the amazing trees. We say old growth trees. And here is really a, a spectacular picture of one of the huge trees that is still alive in this valley, this sound. And so um, uh, this, this was a, a big issue for uh, Greenpeace. And uh, Alan, could you please read this information for us? And just, uh, it, we, we need everyone to please keep their microphones muted. Uh, the situation with the Google Hangout technology is you don't hear your own voice. You don't hear the noise that you're creating. And so unfortunately we've lost uh, Alan. So uh, Hamid, uh, could you read this for us please? Okay, of course. Clay coat uh, sound, beautiful, rare and still at risk. August 11, 2008. Can I yes, go sir. on? Absolutely. The magnificent rare clay account sound is one of the most famous forests in the world. More than a decade ago, the fight to save clay account sound inspired global interest in the area, making it known the world over. Clay account is again under threat. Okay, great. And I'm just going to, um, <clears throat> you know, show that picture again. So the forest industry wants to come in and cut this forest down and sell the wood. It, it's, uh, it's amazing uh, to me that people could consider destroying this forest uh, to make money and to sell wood. Uh, and, and so uh, uh, let's, let's move on to uh, Igor. Could you read this for us, please? Yes. Clayot sound about 0.4% uh, of British Columbia's total land base is home to more than half the provinces. How to pronounce provinces? Yeah, uh, provinces. Provinces, terrestrial uh, vertebrate species, speci uh, how to pronounce this word? Species. Species, along with uh, 45 animal species that are known to be in Endangered, uh, to, endangered, threatened, or vulnerable. Okay. Vulnerable. How vulnerable. To vulnerable. Excellent. All right. And so this is the the situation with these original forests. They are full of an amazing variety of wildlife and animal species that are very rare because these kinds of environments at least 75 percent. Uh, this Clackwood Sound is on an island, a big island, and over 75 percent of the original forests have all been cut down. So there's only 25 percent left, and many of those forests are small little pieces. So here is a, a green piece, and they're celebrating 40 years of, uh, of their organization. And so what I'd like to do is to ask uh, the next person, uh, and that's uh, Inga. Could you read this, please? Yes, about Greenpeace. Greenpeace exists because this uh, fragile earth deserves a voice. It needs solutions. It needs um, change. It needs action. Greenpeace is an uh, independent global campaigning organization that acts to change attitudes and behavior, to protect and conserve the environment, and to promote peace by. Okay, the environment. 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 Okay, great, thank you. And I, I'm going to, uh, sorry, I'm going to move on to Ismail. Could you read this next section for us? And obviously this is text directly from the uh, Greenpeace website. These are the main issues that they are focusing on. Yes, Jeff. Catalyzing an energy revolution to address the number of number one 
threat facing our planet, climate change, defending our oceans by challenging wasteful and destructive fishing and creating a global network of marine reserves, protecting the world's ancient forests and the animals, plants and people that depend on them, working for disarmament and peace by tackling the causes of conflict and calling for the elimination of all nuclear weapons. Okay, great. Thank you. So, some uh, four huge issues. And now, um, uh, Jean Janil? Janil? Sorry? Could you read these uh, issues, please? Uh, you need to turn on your microphone, Janil. Okay. There you are. Creating a talkless free future with safer alternatives to hazardous chemicals in today's products and manufacturing. Campaign for sustainable ag agriculture by rejecting gen genetically engineered organisms, protecting biodiversity and encouraging socially responsible farm. Greenpeace is present in 40 countries across Europe, the Americas, Asia, Africa, and the Pacific. Okay, great. great. Now, just let me help you with pronunciation. So we have uh, hazardous and organisms, living creatures, organisms. Organisms. Okay. All right, so a couple of issues that we haven't spoken about yet. All right, and, okay. uh, I, uh, and so I'd like to go to uh, Marek. Are you there? Hello. Yes, yes I'm here. Great. And so, we exist. Uh, yeah, yes. sorry. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, to maintain its independence. Do you see that? Wait a second, please. Yeah. I don't see anything. Okay. To maintain its independence, Greenpeace does not accept donation from governments or corporations, but relies on contribu contributions from individual supporters and foundation grants. Greenpeace has been campaigning against envir environmental degradation since 1971 when a small boat of volunteers and journalists sailed into Amchit Amchitka, yes. mm -hmm. an area north of Alaska where the US government was conducting underground nuclear tests. Okay, great. And uh, just uh, let me see, environmental, so, sorry, environmental and uh, degradation and uh, there was one more word, sorry. Uh huh. Sorry, let, let's keep going. <laughs> Great job. Okay. Thank you. All right. And let's move on to this information here. And so, Marie, could you read this for us, please? Yes. We exist to expose environmental criminals and to challenge government and corporations when they fail to live up to their mandate to safeguard our environment and our future. In pushing our mission, we have no permanent allies or enemies. enemies. We promote open, informed debate about society's environmental choices. We use research Lobbying, lobbying, and quite Lob lobbying, lobbying, and quite diplomacy to pursue our goals, as well as high-profile non-violent conflict to raise the level and quali quality of public debate. Great. Okay. So then we have the. Uh, this is a, a phrasal verb to live up to your uh, their responsibilities uh, that means to fulfill uh, or uh, to do to complete to be successful so uh, when you have responsibilities or let me see sorry when you have responsibilities or obligations you need to live up to those 
you need to do what you are supposed to do. You need yeah, that's the idea. And just to, to pursue uh, or pursuing and allies, allies or enemies. Okay, and then this idea could somebody um, please put this concept in their own words, please? What is high profile nonviolent conflict? Anyone have an idea? Uh, Greenpeace is famous for this. Okay, so we don't know. Oh. yeah, sorry. Uh, Hamid? Hamid? For sure. example, uh, sometimes uh, Greenpeace members uh, make protest for something. Yes. And uh, this uh, protest uh, no violent. Uh, only uh, they uh, unfavor for some governments. Mm -hmm. Look, looks like this. Yeah. No. Great. So uh, these are uh, protests that are nonviolent but cause conflict. They create conflict. All right, and they are high profile. So they try to do things that are going to have a lot of media coverage and a lot of uh, attention, okay? And uh, we'll be looking at some pictures uh, there. And so, uh, sorry, uh, where are we? We had Marie, and so uh, Stas, could you read this for us, please? Yes, and we um, believe that uh, the struggle uh, to preserve the future of your our planet uh, is not about us, it's about you. Greenpeace speaks for uh, two and point, uh, point uh, eight uh, million supporters uh, worldwide and uh, encourages uh, many millions uh, more to take action every day. When the last uh, tree is stuck, uh, the last river poised Poisoned? Uh, poisoned, and uh, the last uh, fish did. We will discover that we can't uh, eat money. <laughs> okay, this is one of their slogans. Uh, and just supporters, uh, so. according to the website, they have 2.8 million supporters. And uh, dead, when the, dead, when the last fish is dead. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, great. And so this is some of their introductory uh, information. And now what we're going to do is take a look at uh, some photographs that they had showing 40 years of their uh, inspiring action. And so what I'd like to do is, uh, is I'd like to ask, uh, Alan, are you there? Yes, I am. Yeah. So here is a picture of, uh, this is from 1971. A photograph of two of their original members, and could you read the uh, the piece under it, please? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Uh, okay, so um, September 1971, Greenpeace co-founders Bob Hunter on left, at the helm of the Phyllis Cormac, also called Greenpeace together with Ben Metcalf en route to Amshita. The very first Greenpeace voyage departed Vancouver on the uh, 15th September 1971 with the aim of halting nuclear tests on uh, Amshita Highland by sailing into the restricted area. Okay, so there was going to be underground nuclear testing uh, in, this, in this area. Uh, carried out by the United States. Uh, there, the aim of the voyage, they wanted to halt the nuclear tests, and so um, uh, people well, understand. Uh, what means yeah, yeah. Uh, aim? I'm sorry. Yeah, the aim was the goal or the objective, the okay. purpose, the aim. Yeah, and they wanted to halt. They wanted to stop the nuclear tests by sailing into the restricted area. All right, and so is there anyone who would like to make a, a quick comment about 
nuclear weapons or nuclear uh, testing. And I, I'm going to ask for a comment after each photograph. And so, uh, what, what about the issue? And, and, and I need everyone, please, to keep their microphones muted uh, if, if you're not speaking. Uh, everyone, please, you need to keep your microphones muted. You, you do not realize the sound that you're making. So someone, anyone, a comment about nuclear weapons testing? Teachers? Yes. Yes? Okay, so Hami? Oh, Hamid? Uh, for example, uh, we lived and we saw uh, Fukushima uh, disasters in right. Japan. And also uh, nuclear weapons uh, releases some uh, toxic, some uh, radiation, radiation uh, uh, materials to environment, and these uh, materials are very harmful for people. Right. Okay. So we'll be talking about nuclear energy. Uh, Ismail, you had a comment uh, about uh, nuclear weapons. Yes, Jeff. The nuclear weapon is a uh, very destructive weapons. Uh, we can see uh, the uh, effects of this weapon uh, today uh, in Japan. Uh, it was used in the First World War uh, in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And when we uh, came to the uh, underground nuclear weapon test, they are going to trigger some uh, earthquake uh, mm -hmm. in the world and right. it must be uh, cautious uh, against these issues, I right. think. Right. Okay. No, thank you. And, and I'd like to move on because I've got quite a few photographs here. Uh, just quickly, Phyllis Cormac, uh, also called Greenpeace, was the name of the boat. So that's all that that meant. So uh, I'm going to uh, move on. So thank you, uh, Alan. And then, uh, Hamid, uh, could you read this uh, next okay. question? So here is the photograph of some Greenpeace protesters uh, doing the nonviolent conflict method of a boat. And could you read the information? OK. June 1982, Greenpeace takes action against ships intending to dump British, Belgian, and Swiss nuclear west into the Atlantic. The Dutch ship uh, Regenborg is attempting to pump uh, 7,000 tons of waste when Greenpeace arrives on the scene. The ship's crew responds by dropping waste barrels onto the protesting Greenpeace inflatables. In early 1980, Three, the British and Dutch announced a 10-year moratorium on the dumping of waste and in 1993 they permanently banned the disposal of industrial and radioactive waste at sea. Okay, great. Uh, just uh, the pr pronunciation of inflatables. These are inflatable uh, boats and so we, we shorten that to inflatables. And they're accusing the crew of dumping the barrels on top of the boats. And uh, moratorium is uh, an agreement, an official agreement to stop something. All right. And so uh, does anyone, uh, and, I, and I'm looking for every, all of the different participants, uh, not just the same people. So is, is there another participant who has a reaction to uh, dumping industrial and nuclear waste at sea? Anyone? And, and again, it's just uh, your chance to practice your English. You don't need to say anything uh, important <laughs> just to uh, express your opinion. Anyone? I think that um, yes. after many years uh, we will see uh, a result of these actions that uh, 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 dumping of wastes, uh, nuclear wastes in the uh, ocean and we will see some result.
bad yeah. results. I think yeah. it's my uh, yeah. thought. And I, I wonder how many countries are still dumping or how many countries or corporations are still dumping waste into the ocean. Uh, anyone else with a comment? This Did is your you chance. Uh, yes? Uh, for example, uh, there is a, a Kyoto Protocol. Uh, did you ever hear it? Yes, I've heard of it. Yes, the Kyoto Protocol. Uh, and uh, it is uh, related to protect uh, the environment. And mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, spread these uh, like things, uh, Kyoto Protocol. And every country uh, follows and uh, 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 put the rules for their country. Yes, right. Now, I, I don't know if the Kyoto Protocol had anything to do with dumping uh, waste into the ocean, though. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, anyone else? Uh, Janillo, Marie, Stas, <laughs> Marek, anyone? Yes. Yes, Stas, do you have a, a reaction? A comment? Uh, no. Well, okay, all right. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to move on then, because we've got more issues and more photos to take a look at. Okay, and, it, and if people uh, don't understand uh, what, what the issue is, please let me know and we'll take some extra time to explain the issue. Uh, and so here's a photograph of a Greenpeace base that was set up in the Antarctica. And so, uh, where are we? I, I, I think, uh, Igor, is it your turn to read? Yes. Okay. And just let me move this down for you here. Greenpeace established... Uh, how to read this word, second word? Good. Establishes. A Greenpeace establishes a base in Antarctica to protest against various uh, international projects including mineral exploration in the area. In the area or area? Area. Area. The campaign ends in victory when the members of the Antarctic uh, Treaty, Treaty? Treaty? Treaty agreed to uh, 50 15-year ban on all mineral exploration. Mission accomplished. Uh, Greenpeace dismantle, dismantle? Dismantle? Dismantle their base. Okay, great. Excellent. All right. And so, I'm sorry, I, I lost the year on that, but it was, it was uh, before, this, this happened before 1998. All right. And so, uh, this is an issue. What 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 is going to be the future of Antarctica? Does anyone have a comment about Antarctica? <laughs> the Antarctic continent. And I'm is looking. It me? Yeah. Well. Okay. But just I'm just going to give some other students uh, a few seconds more. This okay. is your chance. This is your okay, chance. Okay. I will students. wait. Okay. Okay. I will yeah. wait. I'll come back to you. Stas. Did, did you have a comment? You have your microphone on? No. <laughs> <laughs> no? What, what, what do people think should happen to the Antarctic continent? Oh, okay, Hamid? <laughs> okay, uh, some scientific uh, people, scientists, uh, researchers, uh, and uh, the ice uh, pieces, the ice items uh, are uh, melting, so uh, the sea level uh, arises for Earth, and also uh, it uh, influences uh, the temperature of uh, world uh, common uh, temperature. Okay, so this is the, the climate change is affecting the South Pole and the North Pole more than any other region in the world. And melting ice, melting also, glaciers, yeah. Go also ahead. some, uh, some uh, kind of animal, for example, uh, penguins, or looks like this, uh, 
uh, lowest uh, the uh, number of this uh, animal. Yes. And uh, it is a treatment for people. Ah, okay. So, sorry, I, I didn't understand that. Now, Ismail is saying we consumed all the mineral resources and now we're trying to find new places like the virgin Antarctic. Yeah, yeah. but go ahead, Is Ismail. Please, uh, go ahead. Or this is a different Ismail. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a different Ismail. So, uh, and uh, a question, yeah, and what yeah. year happened with when uh, uh, Greenpeace established a base in Antarctica? Yeah, sorry, uh, I, I must have uh, uh, deleted that part of the text, but it would have been uh, sometime, these, these photographs I believe are in order, so it would have been before 1998, because this Atlantic Treaty uh, was signed uh, some time ago to ban for at least 50 years any kind of mineral exploration on the Antarctic continent. I think it's a good um, um, uh, thing that uh, they do this. Uh, 50 years, we, uh, Antarctica will be clear place. Well, okay, yeah. You mean with no ice? Uh, I mean, uh, will not be p polluted oh, uh, by people. Yeah, okay, it will be clean. It, yes, it clean. Will, yeah. Uh, okay. No, great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, but thank you, Ismail. Uh, yeah, human uh, humans are the most dangerous animals on earth. All right. Great. Uh, so, uh, great job. Uh, let Let's move on. Uh, uh, I'm 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 really hoping to encourage people to participate. I'll help you. I'll help you with your comment. That's why I'm here. And so I'm going to go to the next person who is uh, great. Uh, Inga, could yes. you read this for us, please? Mm, I, uh, April 1998, a Greenpeace campaigner witnesses a forest fire in the Amazon. These fires destroy vast areas of rainforest every year. Often they are set deliberately to open up new land for farming. Yeah, deliberately. 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 Yeah, great. And so, okay, how about the Amazon forest? Uh, other rainforests or other tropical rainforests that are being burned down to provide more area for agriculture and the beef industry. Any comments? I think they uh, shouldn't uh, burn um, this uh, forest. They, if they need uh, um, territory for agriculture, they should uh, cut uh, oh, and okay. do something if uh, they want this. But uh, ideally, okay. uh, they shouldn't uh, cut. Right. Uh, now, uh, so what I've heard is, uh, yeah, uh, much of these forests are being logged so the trees are being harvested but I've heard that uh, burning the forest that's there provides nutrients for the soil and allows the farmers to grow a crop but the soil is very poor quality apparently but air is pol polluted uh, when uh -huh. you burn uh, yeah. trees uh, yeah, no, okay. this amount this yeah. big am and, and you people, can uh, people have brief uh, problems after that right? Yeah, great. And uh, Janil, we're, we're talking about the Brazilian Amazon, I think, maybe? Yeah. Uh, do, yeah. Uh, do, what, what is your comment? Uh, what do the people in Brazil think of the development of the Amazon forest? Man, it, it's horrible because in Brazil there is not any support that can help us because we don't have many support to protect the animals, okay? And the fire keeping on destroying the animals, mm -hmm. other okay. kind of um, and it's, right. it's difficult to tell the people about it because we 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 really know how how what it is. If you were here, you know how what it is. How how bad it is? 
Yeah. Or, yeah, the, the, the true situation. Okay, right. Well, I know that uh, we can see the damage being done to forests and the environment all around the world by satellite photographs. It's very easy to see the fires. It's very easy to see the forest that's disappearing. But then, you know, Brazilians have the right to develop their country as well. So, okay, uh, 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 I'm going to move on because we've got some, some more pictures. And just if I can ask everyone to keep their microphones muted, please. Right now, here is a whaling ship that is hunting whales. This is a harpoon gun, and these are the Greenpeace protesters, activists. And so, if I can go to Ismail, could you read this for us, please? Yes, Jeff. January, January 2006, Greenpeace campaign to save the whales began in 1973. It continues today. Here, activists use inflatable boats to place their own bodies between the whales and the harpoon to hinder the whaling ships. Okay, so what, what do people think about saving the whales and stopping international whaling and and do people know what whales are <laughs> yes I mammals. Know. Okay. big mammals mm -hmm. yeah in the ocean right so uh, a, a comment uh, Marek do you have a comment unfortunately it is still done look at Japan right? uh, I've heard that uh, Japanese love to eat uh, whales and uh, walls, uh, meat of walls is still very expensive and and this meat is on their, can I say it, uh, list of his food? Something yeah, like that. Yeah, okay, it, it's, it's part of their culture, it's part of their... Yes, it uh, is part of the cuisine. culture, so mm -hmm. I don't believe that they will uh, ever, never... <laughs> that, they were, that they will ever... I don't believe that uh, they will ever, ever. Uh, mm -hmm. will will ever stop hunting uh, wolves. Right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, and and so uh, anyone else with a comment? Uh, yes. Thank you so um, much. Yeah. I yeah. read um, an article, or I uh, saw in the news about that um, uh, um, countries. Uh, um, how to say agreement? Uh, yes, uh, uh, an agreement. Signed, or signed an agreement um, about whales uh, to not hunt with whales, but only right. Japan um, still hunting with whales, yeah. and uh, exist a quota on how right. much uh, uh, whales uh, can uh, countries hunt in the yeah. year. How many whales? Right. How many now, years? Uh, whales? Yes. It, it's not only it's not only Japan though. Uh, there are other countries that are are hunting whales, or we say whaling. Uh, yes, the, but the uh, whale, only you know. uh, Japan. Uh, this ah, quota okay. is uh, how to say um, uh, quota. Yes. Do not respect this quota. Ah, okay. Say. So they're not respecting the limit. Yes, yeah. this limit. They. Yeah. Uh, how to say uh, one in one word? No, uh, they are not respecting the quota, yes. or okay. they have they have not agreed to the limit. They did not sign the agreement. Yeah, uh, they signed, but they don't oh. respect this uh, okay. quota. Okay, that's that's what we would say. Great, and so I'm going to go to uh, it, it's Janio, right? Okay. Good. So here are the protesters, and could you uh, read this for us, please? Yeah. May 2000 and 2007, Greenpeace climbers a cubing a 100 meter high crane at the constru construction site of Okiloto 3, Finland's fifth nuclear re reactor. Finland's. 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 And uh, yes, to climb. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is the B here is completely silent. We do not pronounce the B. Climb, climbers. Climbers. All right. And so, uh, a, a reaction to what? What about the nuclear energy issue? 
I heard that uh, is the safest in the world with uh, nuclear okay. energy. Is the safest. Okay. Great. I, Thank you. Uh, on TV, I heard uh, this. I don't know. Right. It's true or not, but uh, it's the safest. Yeah. Or yeah. Great. And again, I'm open to any and all comments. And and my job is to help you with the English. <laughs> so you're. I'm not going to tell you you're right or wrong. <laughs> and so Marie, do you have a comment? And and then. Uh, Janio, sorry, but you need to keep your microphone muted for us, please. Could, okay. could you please mute your microphone? And uh, it's the safest and the um, uh, cheapest. Uh, oh, okay. Energy. Well, and people say it's clean, but all right, yeah. Yes, great. and it's clean uh, energy. Yeah. Yeah. But we, um, on the other hand, we can see what happened in Japan was uh, when there were, were, were uh, earthquakes. Yeah. And the tsunami. Uh, Marie, do you have a comment? Uh, I agree with no, okay. uh, with Go the. Ahead, uh, I I agree with Jania. So it is uh, very clean energy, but uh, I would say that uh, this electricity is very dangerous because uh, there are many radioactive mm, materials. Can I say that? Yeah, radioactive materials radioactive materials and these materials are very dangerous for our environment yeah and, and so we just talk about the, uh, the waste that is produced nuclear waste nuclear waste I don't understand the meaning of these words yeah this is the material that's left over after mm -hmm. the production of now the electricity I understand. Now yeah. I understand. We yeah. we have here in Europe we had a problem because some country I, I think there was uh, there was Germany and uh, and France. So uh, one of these country didn't want to 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 have this waste nu nuclear waste mm -hmm. nuclear waste and they wanted to export uh, this waste to mm -hmm. another country. Mm -hmm. And some yes. people stop uh, stop this transport on the border and okay. protest. Right. right. Yeah. Yes, Ismail. May I say something about nuclear en energy? Yeah, please go ahead. Yes, uh, our go government uh, has decided to build uh, two nuclear centers in Turkey. One of them in uh, north of Turkey, and one of them uh, are planning to build in the south uh, coast of Turkey and our government are speaking with France, South Korea and ja Japan but I am against uh, the nuclear energy uh, because we have uh, uh, more green energy uh, uh, potential in Turkey. There are uh, we have a uh, wind uh, potential and uh, we have a uh, river we can uh, produce uh, electricity from hydro the hydroelectric power. power but uh, with this alternative uh, electricity um, powers you cannot um, uh, you cannot um, uh, country uh, to be uh, an 100 uh, percent a cigarette with energy. Yeah. Sufficient. It, it's yes, not, it's, it's not, not sufficient. It's yes. only a small percent, uh, mm -hmm. and because yeah. uh, you can't build this uh, nuclear. Igor, you have right, but uh, I think uh, we don't know. In an emergency situation, we haven't enough technology to protect our environment and uh, our people from the uh, radioactive. Uh, effects. Uh, oh, sorry, the... sorry everyone. Uh, Ismail, thank you so much. <laughs> no, it's just that uh, I need to end the class now because I'm teaching again right away. So thank you so much for your participation and uh, I hope you enjoy reading the rest of the document. <laughs> uh, there are some other issues and some interesting photos there. So I may come back to this and, and do another class about Greenpeace and the environmental uh, issues around the world. So thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations uh, on your English. You're expressing your ideas very well. So I'll, I'll see you soon. <laughs>
we, we try to participate. We try to participate for this uh, interesting lesson. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>